Hey, what's going on, people? It's Guns Rire from Next Gen Tactics, and this is a map walkthrough of Jungle. Yes, one of the largest maps uh, in the game. Not the largest, but it is considered a large map, and there's lots of interesting places to go in here. This is obviously the starting point uh, on defense for Search and Destroy. You can see the bomb targets over there. Nice the way they disappear. Yes, thanks, Treyarch. At least you got something right. Anyway, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm not going to badger them. Um, anyway, we're going to do a walkthrough here. I only, I'm not going to be doing search and destroy strategies as per usual. I'm just showing you where the bombs are so you can familiarize yourself with it. We will be going over those strategies at a later time. They take a little bit longer to develop. Anyway, let's do this. We're going to start in this area here. Now, oddly enough, this is uh, generally just a transition area. So... Uh, which means it's just an area where people are going to be running through. No one stays in here. There's no snipers in here. And because of that, and because of the simple fact that everyone sees this as a transition area, uh, and the fact that there's these uh, you know, covers and, and, and stuff like this available, it actually makes it an ideal spot to get some easy, fairly easy kills. Especially if you were to, like say, put a claymore here or something like this. Just generally, people aren't going to be running from from this location here. They're not going to be running through here and then going around the back here to go that way, unless there's gunfire over there. Generally, they're going to run there and they're going to go up there, or they're going to be cut, cutting through here and they're going to be whipping around here. So, and the reason why I'm saying that is, if you place a claymore here, because if someone is coming from here and wants to go that way, they're either going to run straight through that way or come through this way. And I would say generally they're going to run this way because it's straight. It's easy for them to see. It's less turns. They're going to maybe, you know, look or whatever like that. But that's about it. So put a claymore here. Put a claymore on the other side. And the reason why I'm saying this, I'm not saying to camp, but you can easy, get some a couple of easy kills by just watching this transition area in here. Very big area. Uh, spawn area as well. You're going to catch people coming down from the hill. But primarily you're going to catch people coming through this way. Um, and I guess it just varies on, on the people that are coming in here. It's just from my experience, I've seen more people either come from this area here or up the top here coming straight through. And positioning yourself on this side with the claymore in the back, you're going to be able to get a couple of easy kills. And the reason why I say easy kills is because, as I said, this is a transition area. People are not expecting anyone to stay in this area here because it doesn't seem to make sense. But if you were in prone here, Again, easy, easy kills. You're going to get easy kills. If you had a sniper rifle set up like right there, it's going to be, it'll give you uh, uh, even more easy kills. You know what I mean? Like you say if you were situated here, you got blocked from there so no one's going to see. No one's looking. They're going to see for someone spawning in this area, but they're not looking carefully for anyone sort of gone prone right here. And you will see people up in the top area here uh, trying to get into their sniper position, which is closer to the bridge area there. So if you were a keen sniper and you know that quick scoping for the most part or completely has been nullified, um, then this is an ideal spot to pull in your scope and get a quick, easy kill for someone coming through there. And uh, you know what? We're going to go clockwise. I was going to go counterclockwise, but I always go clockwise, so why not? As I said, so be aware that this area, even though it seems to be, you know, useless, like right here, again, another perfect spot behind the sandbags, easy kills, transition area. This is a transition area at the end here because it's on the perimeter, but no one goes onto the extreme out here. No one is going to see you here if you are careful enough not to be moving around. If you keep going back and forth, yeah, they're going to see you sort of going like a, like a shooting gallery or whatever, moving back. But if you stay still and just sort of keep your, your, your uh, sights like this, where you're just, you don't even have to move. You've got that, that one sort of uh, walk on the far right side where the A is, and then you can see the completely other area there where people are going to be transitioning through this entire area there. If you are perfectly still, they will not see you in this location here, and you will get a couple of easy kills. Just don't stay there, because they will kill you the next round. But anyway, that's an easy kill there. I don't care. I give you smart gameplay here. You don't like camping, don't camp. Get a couple of kills, move on. Then we're going to move up in this area here. And this is the same for demolition as well. Uh, it is problematic if you're demolition. And I'll give you a quick tip. A lot of times people will be in this area here. 
you're going to want definitely to have some sort of claymore here to protect yourself from the bridge area when they're coming across here. But this is one of the safest areas to be in. Uh, number one, because you're going to see a lot of people running through this building and trying to come this way, or even if they're coming in that way. It's an odd angle for them to actually uh, nail you in this in this regard here. If you're going to be looking at people that way, this also gives you a, a very easy way to protect yourself. Yeah, some people may be down here, but I mean on search and on demolition, for the most part, your team's going to be spawning in there, so you don't have to really worry here. This gives you protection without claymores uh, from anyone coming running this way. So slightly behind this wall here, and you catch everyone coming through there. Especially if you had a sniper rifle, you can easily pick them off if you're fast enough. And of course, you're going to want to be scoped in uh, because the quick scoping is nerfed. Yes. Again, this, unless you're going to place a claymore in here, I wouldn't stay in here. It's not really a great place. It does give you a little bit of protection to, to kill people coming from that direction, but you've got you've got a direct sight line. Anyone in deathmatch free for all coming up this way is it easily going to be able to see uh, see you there. So unless you've got a claymore protecting here, you don't stay in this window. Maybe come through here quickly to take a look. Look on the side here and look on that side there because those are the two only areas that you're going to actually be uh, concerned about. Concerned about this actually right here. By the way. I know it's an odd thing and I'm showing you camping spots, but I show you everything in these just to let you know I show tactical, and especially if you're playing search, uh, defense, defense on search, these locations are key. If you don't like them, if you think it's, uh, you know, camping or whatever, well then you can die by me when I'm in here defending. And this is how you want to be angled. And the reason why you don't want to be like this is because you can't see that side and both sides are very active. So you always keep your your reticule sort of in the middle so that you can actually you can actually spot people either quickly that way or quickly that way and be able to actually kill them and in this location here even for deathmatch and search apps or deathmatch and uh, free-for-all it's absolutely incredibly effective for one to two kills and then you must move if say like if you were down in the uh, area there where I told you in the beginning you go down there you make a couple of kills from there make your way up here cautiously through here checking there check 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 and then you make your way in here just remember this is about high kill death ratio this isn't about you know blazing it up super action I'm the fastest gunner in the West who cares you can laugh at them and you can hear them bitch in the way at the lobby I give you smart gameplay so you get into this position here people running from anyone from there is not going to be able to see you because you are you're actually positioned here just make sure that you're not like right up against the actual wall because sometimes you can actually and especially don't turn around because your gun actually will go through that crap. So try and just keep that in mind. Stay positioned here. They will not see you. They will run right by every single time. They will not look in there. Even someone coming in from here is not going to be, it's not normal to check in there. That's actually very effective uh, and you want to be aware of that. Another easy way when you're coming in here, if you want to gain the advantage, too many times you'll be coming up to here and if there's someone here, They've got probably the advantage, especially because they're coming in on either an angle like this and they're going to be able to see you, or they're coming in on an angle like this, and as you're coming around the corner there, they have the advantage uh, as well. To reduce that advantage, although I know it's a small thing, but these small things add up. As you're coming along here, go on the outside here, swing out that way, and then come in on an angle there. Don't hug these buildings. Hugging these buildings are dangerous because the second you're exposed, someone else has a way better sight line on it. So always swing wide on there and swing with your uh, your reticule sort of facing out like that and then make your way into uh, going in this way. And the same sort of thing applies to this corner here. As you're moving in here, you want to sort of, you've already got a great sight line here and if someone was right here, it's the only risk of, of you actually getting killed at this point here. So as you're coming in here, you're again, you're swinging around and checking that way and if you're going this way then that's perfect if not then keep moving but you at least want to check you want to nullify those angles so again swing out wide here checking in there and then going in that way and then going back the fact that you've checked that up to the point where you're swinging out here gives you enough time limit uh, even if someone popped up there you know you're gonna quickly run in through here check and then go back you should be able to actually engage in a 1v1 situation and win when you're coming into this area here, if it's completely vacant or whatever, yeah, the problem is that these, although these look like they're really good spots potentially to make some kills, 
and you can you can sort of do again a tactical camp where you get one to two kills these two areas here between there and there very very high activity rate and they you know either way whether they're coming from behind or from this side here you know you've got ample opportunities to make some kills here very very easy if you're gonna be in here though you want to sort of be on an angle like this you don't want to be super super close if you've got a claymore yes that's fine use it but it's kind of dangerous and this wall here protects you I mean you're protected from the side no one usually looks in even if they swing out wide there I don't recommend it though not like the other positions that I showed you you can and I've been killed by someone in there but again it's a little bit more dangerous and I don't recommend it when you're coming through here if your plan is to go over to that area there don't go straight through here it's too dangerous uh, in terms of people coming or swinging wide or coming through the uh, the the ruins here when you come through here swing wide again swinging and you know looking and constantly checking this way but come on the outside you want to reduce this it's the safest way to go because as you're moving this way this is all neutral what I call neutral um, neutral territory there is nothing that can shoot you from behind you want to always have the advantage and reduce those angles so as you're coming in here reduce them and check there's a spawn area over in this area here so just be aware of that there's nothing else for you to be here now I know it seems a little bit ridiculous but these areas here like this these bushes are fantastic opportunities for tactical kills it seems ridiculous you're gonna want ghost on and hopefully ghost pro uh, when you actually do have it but any direction even if you're coming from this area here if you have ghost pro most people won't even look in there very difficult to see someone in there I promise you that you will get an easy kill in there but the problem is, is you have to be patient uh, and it depends on what you're what you're doing you can win games by doing this yes it's a little bit slow in the beginning but think about it you get your three uh, five seven or eleven kill streaks and you're calling them in from there before or even if you want to call them in at those at that point with ghost on those are great places to call from uh, call them as well most people will not see you there they will not see you there they will just simply go right by you if you've killed some from uh, someone from that point obviously you're gonna move the second you got a kill you move you don't stay in here and hopefully you're gonna get another kill you put yourself at risk stay in here when you're in like that get a kill and then move the reason why I say that is because yes you could potentially get two kills but the second that the other person spawns if they're near you you are toast and why do that why put yourself at risk I'm showing you all these locations if you slowly move yourself around and tactically around the actual map get your kill streaks you will win the game it will be slow in the beginning do not worry about the other players getting um, more kills than you and everything like that you will also know that they will probably have more deaths than you so if you're going for a flawless or you're going for the actual win in the end patience the tortoise wins the race so again I'm showing you this area here this is fair a fairly good spot to again uh, make a couple of kills you want to be uh, prone though when you're in here you definitely want to be prone I wouldn't worry about this area here it's it's kind of hard to actually uh, get them you can you can nail them because again this is a transition area but I would generally as a rule stay out of this area here yes even if you see fire remember if you see fire in an area the chances are the time you get there if you're not immediately close to it they've already gone somewhere hid somewhere and there's other people probably heading to the same direction uh, in the same area so you're gonna be in a collision course and your probability for dying increases vastly so stay away from red dots stay on your own path don't worry about where the gunfire is actually happening that's actually another tip for you guys uh, especially when you're playing deathmatch or free-for-all ignore the red dots so anyway you can get some easy kills from here um, stay prone when you can because you don't want to be exposed huge you're still gonna be someone's gonna be able to see you but you're much if you were standing up as a silhouette there you're a huge target so just make yourself as small as possible and if you want to uh, get a kill here lots of people either running this way or through here and that's a good choke point because it requires them to run you know 20 feet 15 feet or whatever in a relatively confined path oh my goodness phone's ringing I'm not gonna get it you hear the Christmas tunes in it too I did that to annoy my wife 
So anyway, I'm gonna actually sit on that so you don't hear. There we go, that's nice and quiet, eh? <laughs> so, we're not gonna edit that out. And as we're coming through, as I said before, you don't want to um, go through the, the alleyway here. Here is, uh, not the alleyway, the valley here, the riverbed valley. This is the other entrance at the bottom I showed you before when you're coming around swinging wide here. This is the way to get through there. Just be aware when you're coming through here, a spawn area is over there. It's always safer. It's always safer. There's no reason why you should be coming through here. Because if you're chasing red dots, which is the only reason why I would think that you're coming through here, this is a dangerous, dangerous area. You got friggin' spawn there. You got your, your back open to people swinging around from the side here. Very easy target. You got people coming down straight from there and then that side as well. Uh, no one will usually be on the bridge right at that point here, so you don't have to worry about it. But you want to reduce those those areas there. Much safer to swing around wide. You should be patient in this game. Patience will get you kills. Anyway, so as you're coming along here, I'm going to show you the, the, the valley way to the, uh, the beginning anyway, just so that we can cover this off. It's not a good place to be. It's very, very dangerous. You got people up the top there. You got people from behind, in front, um, and again, up the top there that could be shooting at you. You want to avoid this. And of course, there's the uh, ladders. Ladders should be avoided at all costs, unless you have no other choice and you're being, I don't know if there's only a, it's a 1v1 situation in a, I don't know, in a wager match or, or search and destroy, avoid the ladders. Always avoid these ladders. The reason being, the second you get on the ladder, weapon is away and you are confined. You are an easy, easy target. Slow for that period of time. That one, two, three, super easy to get killed. Avoid the ladders. Don't use them. They're very, very dangerous. So you're coming up here. Here's a, a, a walkway uh, to go up to a bomb, and we'll I'll show you that when we actually come around the far side. And I've seen people camp in this area here. Granted, I'm not saying don't do this. This is another one of those tactical positions. It is a spawn area, but again, another tactical position because you're going to see people trying to get in sniper positions at the top there. You're also going to get the odd person for God knows uh, whatever reason either running through this way here because they're chasing red dots or other people running through the riverbed. So again, if you're going to make a kill in these spots, and by the way, if you're going to use this tactical uh, way, which I'm going to show you, always, uh, I would say either put on Warlord so that you can have on uh, Silencer because that is going to be key. You do not want to draw attention to yourself. Make the kill and then you want to be able to slowly move. You don't want to have to make the kill and then friggin' rush out of there because that's how you end up getting killed. Make the kill and slowly make your way out, making sure that it's safe as you're going up here. That's what you want to do. Anyway, that's the uh, riverbed. It goes all the way back to the area where we were. Generally avoided. Generally avoided. Don't don't spend a lot of time in there. Again, I mean, looking at places like this, when you're in there, um, these places, while they seem ridiculous with Ghost Pro, very, very hard to spot people. You don't seem to look at it. You, you see the foliage. You don't think of spots like this as people being uh, hidden in there, and it and it throws you off. I know it seems ridiculous, but it will get you kills. You put a ghillie suit on with Ghost, and these tiny little spots, I'm not saying to come in here because I, I still stand by it. Dangerous, dangerous area. But those little crazy looking places will get you kills. Here's a good place for a Claymore, by the way. Um, I generally place it in this bush here and face it out. That way you're going to kill people coming this way. And people coming up this way generally won't see it because it'll be right in there and it's uh, fairly well dis disguised. This is not a good uh, camping spot, by the way. That foliage there does not protect you at all. And it's very easy for people to actually see you as you're coming up there. Very, very easy to, to catch you. When you're coming up here, just be aware, um, depending on what you want to do, this is a very active area here, high, high transition area here. This bridge is incredibly dangerous. This will get you killed a lot. And the reason why it gets you killed a lot is because it's like 20, 25 feet. I don't know. I don't know how many feet. I'm trying to guess. It's a long, it's a long period in which you have to run on a straight line. Anytime you do that, from someone coming from uh, the back here, coming along the side here, all it is, all they see is you standing there while you're moving and maybe getting a little bit smaller basically you're this target right in the middle that's standing there for a period of like let's just let's just count it one two three so three seconds so picture it this way it's like someone standing here like this 
one, two, three. You standing here in the middle of this with someone with direct sight lines and there's a spawn area over there and anyone coming from this direction, you are a major target. I'm not saying don't use it because in a lot of cases you have no choice. Uh, but if you want to try something crazy and I, I'm going to be experimenting with this, when you're coming through here, if you're not even sure, do a dolphin dive, get up and keep moving. A random dolphin dive may actually save your ass, especially if you're coming from this direction here. Because they don't see it. If, you, if, you, if you've cleared it, remember, you've got areas coming from up here. I know I'm going past. Just keep moving and keep going like that. It's going to throw them off. It's going to buy you maybe at that one second that they see you on the ground. All of a sudden you get up and move. It's going to actually save your life. So you're coming up here. Watch for claymores around the corner here. That's a deadly, deadly spot uh, right in here. Especially right in this little... These little pretty little flowers, the flowers of death. Put it in here and angle it out. So the first line is here and the other line is facing out that way. That way when they trip it, they're still walking into the blast uh, blast radius. Now we're coming up to this building. This is a very well-known sniper spot. When you're in here, um, I'm going to talk about watching your, your back here. You want to actually, what you can do is place a claymore on an angle like this where the one line is like this and the other line is like that. You want that first line to go right as much as possible, as much as possible running on that line right there. Because as they're coming around, again, you know, it's hard to see when you've got stuff like this. And typically if they're coming in here, they're rushing. They're not going to be looking at it and it's going to be able to get a kill, especially from this angle here too. They're not going to be able to see it. And then that way this entire width that they're standing in is actually the blast radius. If you're going to snipe from up here, if you're going to do anything like that, you will want a claymore here. You will definitely want it or use one of those proximity uh, warnings. I forget. I forget what the hell they're called. You know what I mean? And place it somewhere in the middle here so you know that if anyone's in this area here to turn around. Uh, and those actually are reusable. So, But I like a kill. I don't like to just be warned. I like to actually blow them up. Because if I'm in the middle of a shot going down this way, this is where it is. Avoid going across this bridge. You're asking. This is like um, a shooting gallery. You're not like, wah, 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 wah. you don't want to do that. You're a freaking easy, easy target for anyone there, anyone down in the valley, and especially there, and anyone down on the riverbed that's chasing uh, red dots. Don't do that. If you're going to make shots or take shots across to someone down there, you want to make sure that you're prone and then looking that way there. I also see people coming out here. You want to reduce this, man. I know people come out here, but standing out here is very dangerous. If your objective is to kill someone across that way, then make sure that you reduce sight lines. Yeah, someone can kill you from behind here, but at least if you're prone, they're not they're less likely to actually see you there. And with the claymore, you're actually well protected. So just be aware of that. If you're gonna get up and there's actually gunfire there, shoot and get the hell out of there. Once you shoot, again, if you don't have a silencer, your position's compromised, there's no point. Collect your claymore if it's still there, which I love the fact that you can do that. Uh, brilliant move, Treyarch, by the way. And then move on. Again, here's the danger area. Ooh, oh, <laughs> it's porpoise time. Um, this area here is known for camping, okay? And it's known for camping because it's very effective. Very, very effective. I do not recommend uh, going in here and camping anywhere uh, in this location, only because it's known... Uh, it's a known camping spot. That being said, if you are to uh, try and snag people coming through here, these are the areas that you want to be in. Not in here, not you know looking behind. You can, you can be in the uh, the actual jeep here and stuff like that, but you generally um, want to avoid these areas, okay? Because everyone's expecting it. Someone's swinging around the back there. Unless you got a claymore there, you're a sitting target. So anyway, let's get the hell out of this jeep. And, uh, yeah, you know what, on this side, you can make some kills through there, kills from there, but the fact is that there's so many routes going through and around, the chances are, if you're trying to camp here, again, tactical, but still dangerous, way too open. If you're going to do it, here's the spot you're going to actually make your kills from. You're going to be in here, you're going to be in the bush, you're going to be in a spot that people are going to think is, is absolutely insane to be in. And the reason why no one's going to look there is no one looks in the bush, no one's looking for the tree as they're coming along here you know they're not looking for someone crouched right in this friggin little um, this little tree area here so just be aware of that and this this one's actually not a good example of it but again staying sort of in line with this trunk here 
reduces your silhouette, okay? It reduces your visibility. And if, you, if you're going an angle like this, you've got a perfect shooting gallery. Again, very active area here. People do come through here. They don't just run through there. You'll see them come back here to try and camp. So I guarantee you make a kill. But once you make that kill, get the hell out of there. Same thing goes on this side. If you're actually in this bush here, instead of going sort of midway through, you don't want to do that. You actually want to be closer onto this side here uh, and actually focus on that side. The reason being is all the foliage uh, is hard to see from this side. So their chances are they're going to run by you. If you're like that, that bush there is actually a prime spot for making tactical kills. So as you're going like this, stay like this or at an angle like that. That's about the only angle that you're going to want to do. Make your kill and then move. I know some of you guys are like, oh God, it's showing camping, but you know what? Such is life. This is a, an easy area here too to get a lot of transition kills. This is actually very, very effective. Avoid the ladder. There's a ladder um, right there to coming up. Again, always avoid ladders when you can. Ladders are death traps. You do not want to be there. So this is actually a good spot to pick off um, campers, and, or not campers, people coming through the transition area. Not only that, but you can probably camp this spot or stay in the spot for at least two kills. Unlike the spots there where you can get one or two kills, you're very well protected. You get a claymore here that goes across. Until that claymore goes off, you're pretty much safe. I mean, someone can throw a grenade in there, but chances are most of them, if they got killed, they're going to be coming in after you like this, boom, and right away they're going to get killed. You know what I mean? Or they come around the side here, they're not going to see the claymore, and then the time they come around, maybe they kill you, maybe they don't, but you got a good, good chance that you're going to actually be able to kill anyone trying to come in here. So that's what I'm saying. You make a kill, even if that dude's coming after you, you got a claymore there, you're going to be able to probably catch someone either running through there or coming through that way. Avoid the ladder. This spot is good for at least uh, two kills. Coming up here, this is another, this is probably, I would argue this is the best uh, sniper location absolute best sniper location and you want to make sure if you're doing a claymore here do not put if you're gonna put the claymore you can you know a lot of people will face a claymore right here uh, on the ladder and I actually would avoid doing that and the reason being is I've been able to trip uh, claymores a lot of times so trip claymores without making them blow up you know you go like this and simply go down trip let it blow and then you go back up and that's a good way to freaking deter or stop that claymore from killing but if you put the claymore on an angle here and have that line kind of going as close as possible to that ladder like this and, and angled out like that so you'd have you'd place the claymore like this it stops it it stops the actual claymore from blowing up from blowing up the second that they pop their head up what they have to do is actually engage and th there's that split second where they, as soon as they get up they don't have their weapon ready the time that they're up here this is where you want the blast radius so you want that line going right across here not facing the ladder but right across here in the second that they're up here that will get you a kill it is way more certain that it'll get you a kill from if you've got it angled like this versus right on okay so that makes your clean more effective when you're up here sniping uh, it's too bad you couldn't use that that would be great when you're up here, or have a smoke too, uh, when you're up here, you've got amazing sight lines. You've got that place that I showed you down at the other spot there. Uh, if you're, you've got keen eyes, you've got someone that's almost always there, and not everyone goes in here. The reason why I say to go in here is because I see a lot of people standing out here. It's not just from my own personal experience, it's from my experience of killing people in spots they should not be in, and they are continuously in those spots. And if I'm always able to kill people in those spots, it means it's a bad spot. So you will see people on the outside there. Kill them. Don't worry about the bridge so much. Don't focus on the valley. If you're focusing on the valley, suddenly you're opening yourself up from someone over there. Keep your eyes peeled primarily when you're up here. Unless you see a red dot down there, you're not chasing after them. But if you see red dots, then, then take a look at that. But when you're up here, look there and then look here as well and, and down there and just constantly be searching but looking for that don't go prone don't get sort of focused on one area or not this is another high transition area going through the back but this is probably the best sniper location other that place is not good that place is not good because again unless you got claymores there is only one entrance way to where you are up here 
this is the best spot. So if you're gonna snipe or assault rifle, that's where you wanna go. Just make sure that you place your claymore properly. And then here we come down here, and look at that, perfect spot. You're not gonna be looking there as you're coming down here. Someone with an assault rifle, with this period, again, you've got like what, 20, 25 feet here, which you got, or maybe 15, I don't know, where you're running basically in a straight line. And to someone over there, it looks like you're standing still, more or less for about three to four seconds. Well, probably three seconds. Easy, easy kill, okay? So just be aware that when you're coming down here, I like to swing wide. Uh, again, it gives you a better angle. And that way, also, when you're coming out here, you have the advantage if someone's tailing you to freaking get down here and then counter them and then take them out. Anyway, that's it. That's uh, Jungle. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more map walkthroughs. I'm Guns for Hire. Peace. Hey, guys, we're on Facebook. Check the description of this video for the link to our new Facebook application. Subscribe and get our latest video updates posted right on the wall on your own Facebook page.